what are you guys saying in there? You said the protocol can be uh, changed, but why would people not adopt uh, to upgrade Ethereum network and use it for a daily transaction? Would it, this make the Bitcoin standard a flop? Um, yeah, I mean, there's not... Um, I think because the, the security model of um, Ethereum is not as strong as um, uh, Bitcoin at any point in time. Um you can you can actually um, change the uh, what's called the um, the uh, blocks, right? Um, with a little bit of all you need is consensus, basically. That's all you need. You can't just change the blocks um, with a consensus on um, Bitcoin. So, for example, um, uh, because um, and I'm talking consensus of a few people, not a majority. Just a few people. You just need a consensus of a few people in order to make any kind of um, major change to the block block history. So let me give you an example. Um, let's pretend, right? Um, the government gets robbed of a billion dollars worth of Ethereum, or trillion, like to say a trillion dollars worth of Ethereum. Let's just say in the future, and they want that get that back. Well, how would they do that? How would they go about doing that um, if that's their plan? Well, they just knock on the door of the um, the the, um, the few stakers, right? And say, hey, you know what? You're going to rewrite the block history to say this, right? In your stake. And how long will it take that process for them to do that? To rewrite the history? Well because the history is only based on staking information, it's instant, right? It's not through proof of work. You just quickly, you just have to agree with, get the consensus of those people, and then boom, boom. You have an instant rewrite of the blockchain. Block, blockchain. Instant. Now, let's just try to do that on Bitcoin, okay? We lost a trillion dollars, man. We need to get that back. We need to rewrite the blockchain. Get that back. Get that back. All right. Let's think about that. Okay. Let's knock on the door of all the miners. Right. Um, well, the miners go, sure. But, you know, if we'll have to go back like three weeks. Right. And that means nobody can. Uh, we have to, like, make sure that nobody's mining. Right. Because if they mine for no for mine, then we can't. Um, we won't know we'll ever catch up. And, uh, and and be able to rewrite the blockchain so that you can get your money back. And uh, you know what? I think the, the, we're not going to get everybody that's going to mine for that. Do you agree to that? So we're going to be trying to always catch up to a chain that's growing further and further ahead. Now let's just assume assume that you do did catch got everybody to agree, all the miners to agree to remine from the beginning three weeks ago. Well, guess how long is this going to take before we can actually start trading a Bitcoin again? That's right, three weeks. <laughs> so, uh, is anybody going to agree to that? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so um, and the reason why, you're thinking, well, can't they just write in something in the source, source code that says, okay... This is an exemption. Okay, let's assume you did that, right? You'd have to get every, not just the miners now to agree to, to accepting that exemption source code, but everybody else, every node, every satellite, everything has to accept that exemption code, right, for that change. Uh, that's not happening, <laughs> right? That's not happening. The the the, it, the because the satellites are not going to be easily changed. The, that means uh, that uh, that Bitcoin is going to stick around. That the, there's that, that fork is going to happen. So let's just say you try to do that exemption change. You can go off on that fork, but people will go no 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 uh uh no. I ain't playing. Homie don't play, right? And then they're going to um. Uh, yeah, go off on. They're just going to stick with the right chain and that's it. Alrighty.
Could, uh, should I cash out in uh, stable coins in the bear market? I know I, I, I that is a good question. Um, I, I I honestly don't like the fact that um, when when we say cash out, what cash out to what dollars, right? Um, you see what they're going. You see where we're going with this, right? And you you can expect. Oh, excuse me. Biden and um, and and the United States government to print more money and print more money and print more money. Now, of course, this does not have an effect this year. So let's just say they printed, I don't know, ten trillion dollars this year. That does not have an effect until eighteen to two years out. Right. So, um, do you want to hold dollars during that process? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alrighty. So uh, I would. Uh, I'm sure you'd prefer to hold um, uh, actual um, actual gold or something like that. So I'm gonna go with a gold uh, derivative, gold asset. Maybe even do some. Uh, just the problem is right. If I if I go with real gold. Even if I were to go to um, like goldsilver.com, put the, the money into, um, it's give them, pay them with Bitcoin because that's easy, right? The problem is getting back out the gold to cash. What happens is when you try to move a few million dollars, right? When you do this, right? Um, when you go and, and move like a few million dollars worth of gold, like and I should cash out, I sell like, let's just say I do $10 million, right? And you go, $10 million in gold, right? Um, but buy it through Bitcoin. That's instant, quick. He does that, no problem. Now I want that 10 million bucks back. Ooh, wait a second. That has to, he has to send me a check. Banks are like, where'd you get this money? How'd this come from? You're gonna, you're gonna have to KYC again, buddy. You need, to, you need to show your underwears, man. This can take a while, right? We have to go through a process, right? You can't just move that kind of cash around. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and so that's the problem. That's the problem, right? Um, yeah, that's the key problem. And then, then of course, then there's the tax implications, right? You have to deal with all that. That's managing that is another issue as well, right? So um, it makes it easier, way easier, extremely easier if you could just go through uh, cryptocurrencies and if you could just do like exchanges through through um, cryptos, right? If I could go to a gold backed derivative on crypto and I'm gonna get back out whenever I want to. Without having somebody say, what the fuck you doing? That would be nice. <laughs> right? right? That's what I'm looking for. Right? I just can't take that anymore. And you can say, well, let's go with um, the, the, the tether. But then, you know, again, you, you're you, you sure you want to you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs>